Um, I'm going to use this one, which is the Pierrene uh, bronzer. It's, you get a lot of bronzer for your money, actually, which is very nice. Uh, but the most important thing is it's flat, no matte, no shimmer. Don't put shimmer at this point in time. What we need to do is shape our face. Now, there is a trick, and at this point, again, I get quite excited when I'm doing this, mainly because it's immediate. You can see it straight away. And it also challenges our thinking about what we should be doing with bronzer or whatever. I'm not using the bronzer to give color. I'm just showing off those cheekbones, which are really, really key to the full face look. And again, Sharon's very lucky. She already has beautiful cheekbones. But what we're gonna do is really show them off. So we're taking it from the back now, very important that you take it right from the back, literally from the lobe of your ear, because a lot of people start halfway across um, and then you've got this bit here. Just remember, people are gonna see you from, the, from this side. And I, I want it to be an all over look, not just on your cheeks and nothing else. The other thing is, back in the day, we were always taught to go like this and brush the blusher on and brush anything on that way. And then you get a big clump right at the front of your face, which is exactly where you shouldn't have it. So priority when you're doing this is that you take it from the back so that the actual, the bulk of the product is actually at the back of your face and then it's doing its job because it's shaping your face, okay? Right, uh, just from the back, you take it from the ear and just brush forward. Now, if you notice, I'm, I'm kind of punching it into the face. So I'm not just going like this. I'm actually putting, punching the product at the back of the face here. And it's going literally from the front to your nose, like that. And then taking it just on the temple, like that, a little bit on your nose and a little bit on your chin, because we're after an all over effect, not just the cheeks. It's actually face shaping in its most beautiful form. For women over 40 who don't want to look like they've been asleep on a Mars bar, they just want to get those cheekbones back and define their look. So there we have it. And you can see there straight away the difference. So immediately you can see that Sharon's got these fabulous cheekbones, she has anyway, but they're more defined, you know, so, and it also, weirdly, it makes the eyeshadow look softer as well. So, we are better do the other side, always a plan. So, taking it from your ear, again, and you just literally punch it into the side and bring it forward, like that. So, you're going forward towards your nose, touch on your temple, remember where that eyeshadow comes up to there, you can meet it, and then just following here, take it over your temple. Now, Sharon does keep her hair off her face, which is beautiful. But for all those of my age group that have decided they've got wrinkles on their fringe, so they're going to, they're on their temple, so they're going to wear a fringe, you still need to do this because weirdly, when you go out, the wind will blow and your fringe will rise as the actor said, the bishop. So you really need to make sure that you've got, where did that come from? Um, but uh, you really need to make sure that you've, you've got an all over face rather than just your cheeks and nothing else, okay? So making sure that you've got this kind of complete look, the next thing we're gonna do is just pop a little bit of blush on the front and it'll all come together nicely. So for this, we're keeping it in with the same kind of colour scheme that we've already chosen. So again, if you're following what I do, you'll know you're either peaches and creams or heathers and berries. Once we decide that we're gonna to stick to the peaches on the eyes, then you're gonna follow through with the cheeks and the lips. Really important that you keep to the technique. So for this one, we're gonna use a coral, just a very soft coral. And this is your blush. It's not to contour, we've already done that, but just as the final thing, just to give that pop of color and that warmth to your skin, we're just gonna pop this on. So if you could just smile for me, there we go. And it literally is just at the front of the face, like that. And it just literally, that's it. There's no big, 
magic trick. It's literally just at the front of the face like that. <laughs> she's she's going to fall about now. <laughs> Put that big smile on. No, it's just so that it hits the light. You know, when you smile, um, it just kind of warms it all up to, and brings it all naturally together. So just literally at the front of the face like that. And it just gives that beautiful warmth. I'm just going to do mascara and I'm using it, I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit of mascara on now and then go back to it just to kind of add to it once we've done the lips. Because she's got beautiful lips so that's not going to, I'm sick of bloody complimenting you. Right, <laughs> she's going. got lovely so eyes, she's got lovely cheekbones, she's <laughs> got them practically perfect in every way. Very but thin, very fair. Very thin uh, eyelashes. eyelashes. Well actually mm -hmm. we all have quite thin eyelashes and it can be a bit of a problem. And that's why I did, um, I do like Studio 10 for this because it's actually got a double edge. It's got that side which is like a, um, a brush, um, well, comb, and it's got this side which is the lash building. So if you've, when you've got time, first of all I'm going to use this one which is the lash building. But if you wanted to really add to that, then you turn around and use the comb as well just to give extra length. But it, it's dead easy to do, and all you need to do is look at my shoulder. Just take it from the side to side like that. This is the easiest way to put mascara on. If you're doing it for yourself, just obviously just take it from side to side. When you do that, you're actually putting the product onto the lashes, and then you just brush up. And that's it. Job done. So again, from side to side. It's the easiest way to do it, and then brush up like that. And then we'll come back to them and we'll do the bottom lashes. But the bottom lashes aren't as important as the top lashes. Um, in fact, a lot of people find that when they put mascara on, if it's not uber, uber uh, water so, uh, resistant, then they get, uh, especially as you get older, the mascara tends to drop to the bottom of the lid. And that's no good. Um, so it's important to make sure that when you do it, you're actually, I'm just going to nip that little tiny bit of, you can use a cotton bud, you can use, I can't get over there and get me cotton buds. It's off when you can't get over there to get your cotton buds. Right, again, I'm just going to pop a little tiny extra bit on there. If you're doing it yourself, remember, up like a windscreen wiper. And then just literally lifting it up like that. Perfect. And again, just pushing it up. Beautiful. And leaving it for now, we'll go back to it and we'll do the bottom lashes in a minute. <laughs> 